Today we're making carnivore white chicken enchiladas, also suitable for keto. And it is using my carnivore noodles as the uh, wrap for the enchiladas. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore recipes and other cooking ideas. If you're new here, welcome. Please check out some of my other videos and consider becoming a subscriber. And welcome back to all my regular viewers. Okay, today I want to make some enchiladas and I am going to use some chicken that I prepped yesterday. I will link the video below where I made this pulled chicken in the Instant Pot. I'll let you have a look here. So this is one pound of chicken breast. Um, and it's got some fajita seasoning on it. And I threw in some chives from my garden at the last minute just for some color. I don't know how many enchiladas this is going to make, so I may or may not use all of it. If I don't use all of it, then um, I will use that for another meal. So the other thing that I have that I prepared yesterday is I have some wraps and I've just got them in this container with some parchment paper in between each layer. So all this is, is my carnivore noodles. And instead of cutting it up into noodles, um, I'm gonna make them wraps. I want to give a shout out to Danielle at Stay Fitness. I will link her YouTube uh, channel down below. She actually made my noodles and made some enchiladas and uh, they looked really good. They were the traditional kind with the tomato sauce and all that. Um, I have difficulty with nightshades, so I'm doing a white sauce plus. I'm doing carnivore month this month, so I'm really sticking close to the carnivore protocol as best I can. These are 100% carnivore. So this is what I'm going to use for my wraps and I will link this video down below where I make these and that video also has kind of a, a tutorial that you know kind of explains all the ins and outs of making these and you can use them for lasagna, fettuccine, enchilada wraps. So those are going to be in there. So the first thing I want to do because I pretty much have everything ready here I've already grated some cheese um, I, I need a sauce and I need a white sauce. So we're going to go over to the stove and you can watch me make the white sauce. It's pretty simple and it's going to be perfect for this, these enchiladas. Okay, so I have a saucepan here. Um, I'm going to make the sauce and what I'm going to use for the sauce is the liquid from the chicken that I made yesterday. This came out of the Instant Pot. So I poured off the liquid and uh, I don't have quite enough. I think I, I think I want to have a, about a cup and this is a two cup measure. Um, and it has measurements, uh, very conveniently has measurements inside. So I'm just going to top this up with some chicken broth right to the one cup mark. And uh, I want to heat that up in the stove. Now normally if I was just using plain chicken broth I would add some more of the fajita seasoning or taco seasoning or chili powder or something like that to this but I don't think I need to do that. I think it's going to be well seasoned. So I'm just heating this up. I'm going to be adding uh, some cream. I think probably about a quarter of a cup should do it. And then to thicken it, I'm going to add a little bit of the xanthan gum. Just a quarter teaspoon should do it. I'll whisk that all up and I'm hoping that that will be enough sauce for the, I'm just making a small casserole, you know, an eight by eight. So I think that should do it.
yeah, I don't think I need to season it. It is pretty good. So I'm just whisking in the xanthan gum and that should thicken this up a little bit. Okay, I'm happy with that. And I'm going to just bring that over here and set it aside for a moment. Okay, so I have an eight by eight inch pan here. It's a silicone pan and I'm, I've got it in a stronger pan. I've measured out two cups of the pulled chicken. I'm, I'm hoping that's gonna be enough for say four enchiladas. In the chicken, I'm going to put half a cup of sour cream. Just gonna stir that around. I'm going to put in, I, I have grated a cup of, uh, what is this called? It's Mexican Fiesta cheese, uh, marble jalapeno, jalapeno cheddar. So just something I bought at the store. I'm gonna use about half of it, like say half a cup in the chicken mixture. I might want more for the top of this thing. Um, I wasn't quite sure how much I would need here. Going to put about half a cup or maybe a little less of the sauce. Just gonna have it in the bottom of this thing. Maybe a little more. And now I'm going to roll up my wraps. So all I did was I, you know, was, I just kind of made it like the lasagna noodles. You'll see that in the video that I post in the video below. Let me just need a knife here. Um, so I, I mean, I've got some, some pieces that are kind of on the thin side. I, I think I just really want something about this size should do. So if you can see that. I don't have a ruler around, but I'm gonna guess that that's like four inches. And these bits, I can make noodles out of them for something else. What I'm going to do is scoop some mixture in. And I may get more than four, I, I just don't know. Roll it up like that with the seam side down. It doesn't have to have closed ends. Just lay it in the casserole dish. So let's see what else I have here. Here's another one. This is gonna make two. Next. Another one that will make two. So I think I'm probably going to get six in here. And I think that is going to be about right for the amount of chicken I have. I might have a little extra chicken, but I, you know, I can even just put it on top. There's one more there. I just love this noodle recipe. Oh, I got a little crack in that one. Okay, so I'll have to, sometimes you have to, you know, piece things together if something breaks. Um, but if, if it breaks, then I've got, I can just cut it up into smaller pieces for noodles. Yeah, that one seemed a bit fragile. All right, so we have six in here. What I want now is, I think I'm just going to, because there's not enough chicken to really save to do anything with, I am just going to put it on top. Improvise. This smells amazing. For now. I've got my, the rest of my cheese here. Yeah, I think I'm going to grate a little bit more because enchiladas should be cheesy. So I have a little bit here. 
I'm going to say at least another half cup. So the total would be one and a half cups. Oh, and actually I'm going to pour a little bit more sauce on. Yeah, I think I made just enough sauce for this. I'm going to pour the rest on once I grate a bit more cheese. Okay, so I've got about another half a cup of cheese there. Now, if I wasn't uh, so sensitive to nightshades, this would be loaded up with some jalapenos. <sighs> but too bad, so sad for me. But it's still gonna be good. I mean, there's a little bit in the cheese. It will be, it will taste a lot like enchiladas from a Mexican place, I'm hoping. I should have had a spatula here to do this, but that's okay. All right. This is ready to go in the oven. Not going in the oven. I want to cover it with some I'm going to cover it with foil before I put it in the oven. And then in the last 10 minutes of, five, 10 minutes of cooking, I will take the foil off. So off we go 20 minutes at 350. So everything in there is cooked, like the noodles are already cooked, the chicken is cooked. So it's really just a matter of heating enough to get, you know, everything uh, hot and cheesy bubbly. So 20 minutes at 350 should be, uh, should be enough time. And we'll see you back when we take it out of the oven in 20 minutes. Okay, Teddy, taking it out of the, I'm taking it out of the oven now, so be careful. Oh, look at that. It is bubbling. Okay, here it is. Yum. It looks good. I think I should probably let it sit for a couple minutes just to settle down. Um, but I just wanted to recap what I did. I baked it with foil on top at 350 for 20 minutes. And then I took the foil off and I baked it actually for another 12 minutes until it was bubbly and starting to get a little bit brown around the edges. So, um, so I'm just gonna let it cool down a bit and then put some on a plate and see what we have. Daddy, do I need to throw this big mess that you have here? Look at this thing. It's falling apart. What have you been doing to it? Are you ready for it to go? Look at you. It's all poised. I'm gonna get it. Are you a pointer? Are you part pointer? Okay, here we go. <sighs> yeah, his little paw. So this has had a few minutes to cool down. I am so excited to try this. I'm going to scoop some out and put it on this plate. I did also garnish it with some fresh um, cilantro, which is one of those things I really like. Okay, so let's give this a try. Yum. It smells good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Minus the jalapenos, but it still has a nice cheesy Tex-Mex type of flavor. The chicken is good, the sauce is good cheesy, 100% carnivore. Well, you know, I did sprinkle some cilantro on it, but, and there's a few spices in the chicken, but this is a good carnivore dinner. Mm. 
I just love chicken enchiladas. So, highly recommend. I would definitely make this again. If you're keto, throw in some jalapenos. Um, do, you know, do those sorts of vegetables that you like. Um, I would even maybe top this with some sour cream and maybe a little bit more cheese just for an extra kick. But other than that, this is, this is delicious. And I hope that you will give it a try. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. I'm going to go have my dinner. Carnivore white chicken enchiladas. Enchiladas. I'm not so sure that you're going to think that's all anything special. Hi, Pippi. How are you feeling? You're good? Okay. Look at your ears. You need to have both your ears up like this one. That's enough dog.